Hey y'all, it's Jamie Dean here again. Look, I'm in mom's new kitchen. This is amazing. I know we're all thankful for my brother's house where my mom's been living for seven or eight months. But for me personally, I'm selfish. It's a lot easier to film here than it is in my brother's guest house. So today I'm gonna do some simple recipes for y'all. The first one is coming from Paula Dean Magazine. This is on the shelves this month and yours truly has a little section here in the front and this is called spaghetti night so tonight we're going to do the baked spaghetti pie i made baked spaghetti for a long time in my life there was a time when i was a young spry man living in albany georgia my best friend's sister agreed to have a date with me and i didn't know what to do i was so excited oh i was so nervous it wasn't my wife because she was probably two or three years old at the time but anyway that's a different story so I made her baked spaghetti and I did a salad and I had her over to my house and that was our first date. So today we're doing something called a baked spaghetti pie. It's super simple. It's a little bit more complicated than the normal spaghetti casserole. I'll give you this as a bonus recipe. Normally I just do my spaghetti noodles and then I'll have my meat sauce. If I wanna add sausage or homemade meatballs, whatever I do that, I just layer it in a casserole dish and I might stick some cream cheese in there and put mozzarella on the top and then I bake that off. This has got a few more ingredients and it really comes out in the flavor. So let's get started. The first thing I did was I made a box of spaghetti noodles and I did not cook these all the way. Did, I just, this just occurred to me. When y'all were little, did you ever take spaghetti and throw it against the wall to see if it would stick? And if it sticks, it's done. I hadn't done that in a long time and I haven't, I have no problems throwing spaghetti against my mom's walls. <laughs> I cooked this a little bit al dente though because this is gonna go into the oven for 30 minutes. This is just a dump and pour. It's super simple. Try to follow me. I've got a skillet that I'm gonna get put a little spray in. This is a nonstick um, pan. I probably don't need it, but I don't wanna take any chances. Because if we're lucky, this whole pie will pop out of here and we'll, we'll cut it like a pie. So into our large mixing bowl, I'm gonna add our package of drained spaghetti. Now, I always recommend that you salt your water when you do your spaghetti noodles or any kind of pasta because it just, it, it cooks in that little bit of sodium that you're gonna need. Same thing with grits. And I always save back some pasta water because if I need to cut my recipe, I'm gonna use the water that is already flavored like pasta, it's already seasoned. But in this recipe, we're adding a full cup and a half of heavy cream. So I didn't hold back any liquid today. I don't think we're gonna need it. Into this bowl goes our heavy cream. And I'm sure that Eddie's gonna post all the measurements on this for y'all. So I'll, I'll hit them pretty quick, but you'll be able to figure it out. And this is a half a cup of pesto. Now you can make your own or you can buy it from the store. I love pesto and I love to make it myself. You can use different kind of nuts. If you're, I have my favorite friend these days is allergic to pine nuts, so I could never make him this pesto. And we've got, let me see, I'm, I wanna do this correctly, so I'm gonna look. It is two cups of fresh grated Parmesan. And mom just came through and stuck her finger in it and said the fresh cheese really makes a big difference and it does. So take the time and shred your own. We have our half a cup of sliced sun-dried tomatoes. We have a half a cup of Kalamata al olives. And this is one cup of cubed low moisture mozzarella cheese. So we're using the cubes. I'm using mom's honey stir today to do this. And then finally into this, well not finally, there's two more ingredients. We're gonna add four eggs. A one, a two, a three. Three licks to get to the lollipop. There's a little bit of shell. Four eggs. Now this calls for about half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And I have a feeling that Groover's gonna get into this a little bit. So I'm probably gonna go about a full tablespoon there. Let me rinse my hands off real quick. And we're gonna mix all of this up together. This is most definitely not the right tool for this job, but I'm gonna to soldier through. 
This particular spoon would really come into handy when you're trying to get to the bottom of the honey jar. I tell you friends, what you should have done was put all the wet in and then whipped it up and then added your noodles. But you know how nervous I get when I start cooking on TV, so, or YouTube or wherever this is gonna wind up. Tell you the truth, I'll never see this. I hope y'all enjoy it. It sure is fun doing it. I'm doing it backwards. Now we're gonna get the whisk out. Make sure and incorporate all this really well together. This is gonna be delicious. It's a far cry from the spaghetti casserole I made back in Albany, Georgia in 1986. But I really love all the ingredients, sun-dried tomatoes and the olives, the pesto, and the heavy cream is kind of taking the place of that cream cheese. It gives my casserole the, the smoothiness and you know all those extra calories that just make everything delicious. I'm a professional, if y'all didn't know. Okay, now this will go into here. Look how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. You know, we have done, my, my brother and I have done some cookbooks together. My mother has done, obviously y'all know, she's done her fair share of cookbooks. But some of my favorite recipes and some of our favorite family classics come out of Mom's Magazine. If you haven't had a chance <clears throat> to check it out, it is chock full of fantastic easy recipes every single month. Uh, we still have an issue from, it was Christmas, because there's Christmas on the cover, several years ago that we keep right with our cookbooks because there's a recipe in there that Brooke loves to go back to. It's the, tomato, it's the turkey meatball lemon orzo soup. Ooh, my goodness, that is great. We eat that all the time. So look how simple that this is. It's one skillet and we're gonna go into the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, got the oven right over here. Are you coming this way, Eddie, or are we done? Well, Trust me, there's well, an oven right here and I'm going to put the food in it. You'll see it when it gets done. <laughs> Spaghetti pie, y'all. It's out of the oven, it's out of a magazine, and it's on the stands. So how about that? This is gonna be a delicious. I'm gonna cut it just like I would a pie. And my top got a little, little tough on here, but that's my fault because I'm doing three things at one time. So you just wanna make sure when it comes to your, the part where you broil the top for a little bit, that you only broil the top for a little bit. Although it, I want it to be set because I don't want this to be super runny. What I would like is for this to come out almost like a piece of pie. Yeah, good luck with that. You see, it's set up a little bit. But the best part about cooking, y'all, is that you can always try new foods. You can always try different ways to make it. And if sometimes the top comes out a little bit crunchy, who cares? If any of your family complains about food that you cook for you, you're cooking for the wrong family. And if all else fails, you can give it to the dog because the dog has never not one time complained. Let's take it down the old test track. Mmm, 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 mmm. What I really like about this, a little bit of pesto I pick up in there. Also that heavy cream in there gives this a richness and just a denseness to it, like a delicious old fashioned slow baked spaghetti casserole. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Teresa. It's good, isn't it? The calm out of olives, all of it is good. We're coming into the fall season and nothing says fall like a nice warm casserole out of your oven. Y'all go to the grocery store, find your magazine, make this for your family today and you'll really enjoy it. Thanks for your time today, everybody. I'll see you around the kitchen. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.